Hopefully the next clip will be us being like, we just made Madison Beer. Oh my God, we just made Madison Beer. Oh my fucking God, we're going to the Madison Beer concert. I'm on my way to pick up my friend Isabel and we are going to Minneapolis to watch Madison Beer perform her life sport tour. I'm so excited. This is technically my birthday present. We're meeting her. We got the meet and greet package. I have to come up with something really funny and fresh to say so that she likes me a lot and we become best friends. I won't fuck this up for us, you guys. Don't worry. Hi, friend. I overpacked. That's okay. <laughs> Are you so ready and excited? I am so ready and excited. I My brain is mush. I wrote her a letter. Really? Yeah, it's really stupid. It's not anything like crazy. It's not me expressing my love, you know. It's literally just me being like, hey, this is my first concert ever. Like, mm -hmm. thank you so much for putting on a show. I just said to her, I was like, my best friend and I are coming to your show tomorrow night. We have meet and greet passes and like, we cannot wait to meet you. This is her first concert ever. And oh I'm just so excited for her to have this experience. Like, love you and I know so you're gonna like, beat. I know you're just gonna rock her socks off. <laughs> the next time you see us, we'll be somewhere else. Here's our beautiful hotel room if anyone gives a shit what our hotel room looks like. Don't look at the chair though, the chair makes it. The chair's a bit, ow shit. <laughs> <laughs> the chair's a bit goofy. As is here, not sure what's going on in there. Also, what is this black smudge on the wall? I don't know. We're just gonna ignore it and pretend that it's not there. Oh, and next door, bitches. The fucking FBI. FBI. Oh, so. Oh, is that basically used to be a smoking room? Could see because of the staining on top. Oh, you're so smart. I watch TikTok <laughs> videos. What can I say? <laughs> so much has happened. Basically, what's happening is me and Izzy are little weenie hunt juniors, and this hotel is questionable at best. We tried to put on a brave face. We looked at reviews online to make sure that we weren't crazy. Sure enough, everyone else is having a quite rough time. So it all started when we walked in, and the people at the front desk were like not very nice, which is fine. But then there were people talking about a hotel party in a certain room <laughs> and I was like, well great, they're gonna be partying all night. I guess that's fine. And then we get in the elevator and it's a little rough and then we get into the room and it's a little bit rough. It looks nice, but the closer you look, that's where it all kind of starts to fall apart. Everything here smells like weed, which is fine, <laughs> but like, I don't know, man. It's just not the vibes. And when we got here, the guy at the front desk um, was like checking us in and a, a large group of men all came out from the back room and well not large there's probably like a few three maybe and they started like greeting us and being kind of weird man and i don't know so we booked a different place we're just gonna take our stuff downstairs and we're gonna go to a new place and it's gonna be fine it's out with the old and in with the new That's okay. Showtime, darling. We're gonna meet Madison Beer. She's gonna meet us. Oh, yes, yes, that's the ego. That ego lucky bitch. <laughs> this is what my outfit looks like. This is it from the back. Back open. Yeehaw. This is what it looks like from the front. Itching my eyeball. I'm wearing these like shiny little reflective pants or whatever they're called, I forget. That's it, tight. How do you feel about your outfit? I feel very sexy in my outfit. Turn this way instead, so the light's on. <laughs> very beautiful. Yeah, look at the donk on that girl. Yeah. So now we go meet her. So pumped. Hopefully the next clip will be us being like, we just made that disappear. Oh my God, we just made that disappear. Yes. I was just like, oh, like it's her it was her birthday. Mm -hmm. Five is 
presentations. I'm gonna answer a few questions for you. This is a little Q and A bit. Um, I was telling everyone who's already in, I will read. Can you guys hear me okay in the back? Yeah, cool. Um, I will retell you. I am recovering from a cold slash like not being able to speak. My voice kind of like stopped working uh, yesterday. So bear with me tonight, please. And uh, yeah, love you guys. Thanks for being understanding. And I'm uh, trying my very best to get words out. I'm going to answer some questions now that I think you guys submitted. Karina, am I saying that right? Karina Hunkins, are you here? Hey! Um, said, what's your favorite song to perform? Honestly, I think that they're all every night, like it varies and it's really different. Um, boy shit's very fun. Um, it's really, really, it's really fun. Again, I think life is short, and I think forgiveness is beautiful, and I think that if you can open up room in your heart to forgive people, I think that it'll weigh less heavy on you, and you might as well. Um, even if it means that person's not in your life, I think, like, forgiveness is, is great. Um, but again, like, you also don't need to forgive people who you feel like have hurt you continuously. Like, you don't need that in your life. You don't need to deal with that. You don't deserve to deal with that. And also, like, certain friends are for certain things. I think that that's also totally valid. I have friends that I can stay on the phone with crying, ranting till five o'clock in the morning, and I have friends who I wanna go chill and watch a movie with. Like, there's just different people I have for different things that serve their own purpose. On that note, I love you guys, and thanks for listening. Thanks for being here. Hopefully this wasn't too boring or whatever. Sorry. Thanks, sorry. <laughs> um, and I love you, and please sing with me tonight. I need it. Um, it's going to be a great show. I will be gallivanting on here all night, so thank you. What? What's that? Oh, I don't know. What, what's all too well? I thought it was called the Red Taylor's version. What's, what is that? Oh, Nothing New is my favorite song. It's so good. I'm, I, okay, to be fully fair, I haven't had time to yeah. fully. Wait, is it a short film? Yeah, yeah, short How did I not know this came out? Am I, I live under a rock a little bit though, you guys. I don't really go. Wait, can I write it down? I thought you also said all 2L. That's what I heard, was all 2L. And I was like, is that a YouTube channel? I don't know what that is. All too well. Work, wow. I haven't seen it yet. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but I have listened to some songs. I've been like trying. So many people have released stuff also in the past few days, and I'm trying to like listen to everything. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna literally go back to my dressing room right now and watch this. I'm not even kidding. Okay, I'm watching it now. Oh my god, what do I post? Okay. Okay. Is it on YouTube? Just on YouTube? Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna watch that now. I love you guys so much. Bye, I'll see you later. even recognized her for some reason so small like uh, with the masks on it i don't know it was just like so hard to recognize her she had like a beanie on too yeah so she was literally like this much of her that you could see but um she asked me what my favorite song was and i said default i thought i said the shortest one on the album and she was like oh i'm so sorry otherwise i told her it was my first concert so she told me to have a good fucking time and i said we're gonna go get drinks <laughs> i dated so we got journals in our swag bag and so like I dated and like put like where I was and what I was doing who I was with and she was like oh my god I do that with my journals too so we just had like a little bonding moment over journaling she said she liked my necklace yeah she complimented Molly's necklace she said she liked my that's uh, hidden I put this merch sweater on because it's 32 degrees here in Minneapolis it's and freezing it's colder we stood outside for an hour in the cold for a reason today. It was very, very chilly. Uh, for probably for the first hour we were inside too, I was like nonstop shivering, just unable to like keep it together. I drink one time a year and we're choosing tonight is the night. 
that I'm gonna get a little turn. Uh, Madison, I don't know if you remember me, but like, if you do remember me, you said that you liked the movie Pay It Forward and I put my hand up. I was the only person who knew what Pay It Forward was. Oh yeah, it's and me. then we stood and watched your Q&A for a while. Yeah, during the Q&A. But I don't have video footage of that, so fuck my life. Whatever. It was cute though. Anywho, this is our show, or our seat. We upgraded to VIP. So this is where we're going to be watching the show from. Oh, it seems like a much better experience being like up top. Much more your vibe than being down there because you would have gotten like tripled. Yeah. So we came up here. They took the letter that I was going to give to her during the meet and greet. They took it in the line outside. And now we're sitting up here in like the little VIP section because I didn't want to be crushed up front. And oh my God, it's right there. That's my letter. If you're watching this, don't know if you are or not, I basically linked my YouTube channel in there, so hopefully you came and watched.
money be there before 315 415 we finally stepped foot into the venue we sat outside in 30 degree weather she was in fishnets I had no pants and then for the first like I don't know 45 minutes we were in the venue I was like shaking you guys in shivers I couldn't tell if I was like kind of shaky because we were meeting Madison mm -hmm. or if I was just freezing to death because we were really funny though when we were like waiting in line Thank you so much. There was some drama in the stairwell. Oh my god, there was drama over TikTokers. <laughs> over Bryce Hall. Over there Bryce. was this girl claiming to be friends with the Sway House. <laughs> this like, other woman was like, oh, do you is Noah actually a nice guy? Woman. Woman. A full adult woman was arguing with this like teenage girl. Little teeny bopper. About Bryce Hall. Oh, well, we just played Uno together. About Noah Beck. She literally was yeah. like, nobody could possibly be that perfect. And I was like, what the fuck? We're right here. Quite literally right, right here. Bitch, but okay. We met Madison. Yeah, we met Madison Beer. So spooky. Very small. Very small. So small. Just the most petite little woman. So fucking small. The dudes in line though. We're really nice. Oh my god. We were like joking. They love you. <laughs> we were like joking with the people in line. She complimented your necklace. She complimented my necklace and I said, oh my god, thank you so much. I don't know what I said. Mm -hmm. And then I had a picture idea I wanted. I didn't even give a fuck. She was just like, <laughs> I was like okay. 
And then for some reason when I stepped around the little curtain to say hi to her, I like stomped my way around like a peace sign. Like yeah. I was Pennywise from a yeah. horror film. It was, it was funny. So I just listened in while she was alone over there. And you were just like, hey. <laughs> so scary. It was yeah. like I crawled out of a gutter. Otherwise, the show itself, we paid extra fucking money, like a bunch of ninnies, to go sit up top so we didn't mm -hmm. have to be packed in with a bunch of people, because F that. And then I drank for the first time in like two years, and there was a very split moment where I thought this shit was going to be really fucked up. There was a minute. But I ended up reeling it in, and everything was totally fine. We sat next to some really funny boys. Mm -hmm. um, Actually, some very charming men for once. We yeah, are. Believe it or not, they exist. But the show was over, and the confettis went off during Everything Happens for a Reason. And I ran downstairs, and I picked some up. Oh my god, my button! Oh my god, the button! <laughs> picked up hands. a bunch of confetti because you, I wanted it. You need to go wash your hands. It'll be fine. It was on the floor. Okay. Of the venue. So was I. She was amazing. Like, she sounded so good live. So good. Like, insanely good. I've okay. been a fan for a long time. Mm -hmm. I've been a fan since the Unbreakable. You made me a fan. And she sounded so fucking good live. We always knew she was a good singer, but A, she said she was sick. Because mm -hmm. she had her Chicago show where she was all like raspy and fucked up for it. She couldn't like, you know, yeah. talk. But she pulled it out. She sounded great. She probably didn't even have to say that and I wouldn't have even been any the never known. This is what her tour merch looks like. We had to buy a sweater each. I wanted one anyway, so it wasn't that big of a deal. It was so fucking cold in there, dude. Even Maggie Lindemann on stage Freezing. was like, it's so cold here. And we were all like, yeah. No shit, honey. <laughs> like we're so freezing to death. in Minneapolis. And so underneath my top, I had like my cute outfit on. I didn't even give a shit. As soon as I bought this sweater, I was like still full body shaking. I just went upstairs, took our seat, and I put it on. Yeah, as soon as the pictures were taken. We were like, fuck it, we're done. There was no need to be cute anymore. I could have literally taken my makeup off right then and there. Yeah. Oh, oh speaking of. Ooh, we gotta go. <laughs>